A very interesting sensory. But they all are, aren't they? Masks within masks, you see. We all wear them, don't we? At different times, for different reasons. To hide our faces, conceal our identities, disguise our intentions, or announce them. King Tutankhamun's funerary mask was partly to cover up the mummy bandages, of course, but mostly to announce his identity to the spirit world and to proclaim his intention to live forever in the spirit. Of course, King Tut's mask was hidden inside a sarcophagus, inside a sarcophagus, inside... <laughs> masks within masks, eh? And some of them don't really hide anything at all. They just say, fun time. Of course, fun time is sometimes serious time, too. This Papuan mask, made of wild plum wood shells, grass, fiber, is used to celebrate the wild plum harvest. And this one, from the New Hebrides, is for a dance to the spirit of a dead ancestor. And this one is a Mexican spirit mask made 800 years ago. All a spirit holiday, Halloween, used to be a seriously spooky time. Now it's a spooky fun time, witches and goblins and devils. In Ceylon, they use this one in a devil dance to cure disease. All over the world, the masks come out to dance in. The dance of the tiger in Mexico. Very different masks just next door in Guatemala. Alaska, these Eskimo masks are for shamanic ritual dances to give the fishermen power over salmon and schools of whales. In Africa, Cameroon dancers use beaded elephant masks. And another dance mask, this one from Mali. And this Congolese female mask is used to drive unwanted spirits away from secret society initiation ceremonies. These masks of the Iroquois False Face Society were made on the Six Nation Reserve. They are all faces of Hadui, the protector of mankind. The Northwest American Indians have a very different imagery. Here, an old woman, a spirit, a copper mask representing a mosquito, and one with movable fish alongside the face. In the southwest, Kachina dolls represent the gods. And across the ocean, a demon mask from the traditional Japanese no theater. All the characters in the no theater were beautifully carved, highly expressive symbolic masks. And of them all, perhaps the most famous is this one, of the young woman. Of course, the performance mask we're most familiar with is the clown. And of course, the clown doesn't usually wear a mask at all. Or rather, the clown mask is right on the skin. Like this New Guinea tattoo mask. Well, this one was for fun, but it could have been war paint. And you know how we state our hostile intentions nowadays. I don't usually hide my face, not even with war or fun paint. But I do wear another kind of mask. The truth is, I'm not actually a TV person at all. I'm just a quiet, old-fashioned science fiction writer. That's me, Judy Merrill. Hi. Oh, for a music...